I, um, I'm so triggered by this image, I can't even speak. I can't put my words, um, sorry, it's really hard. All I can do is feel right now, um, like, a million, like, images are going through my head, but not a lot of words. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, so this morning I woke up and um, checked my notifications and I had some messages in my Instagram. Okay, so I checked the first message and it was a really sweet, really kind, uh, encouraging message of support from a young fellow feminist and I was just um I was like wow this is like a beautiful thing to wake up to um I'm so lucky like this is so nice and I wrote her back and I thanked her um and then I went on to the next message from another very sweet young feminist in Poland and this was the link that I received from her I, I like I can as you can hear this is um, incredibly incredibly triggering and terrifying and shocking and disgusting and horrific and um, barbaric misogynist dehumanizing it's disgusting I can't it's so bad okay 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 I'm gonna read it now horror on cam YouTube monster kills Pregnant lover on live stream by locking her on sub zero balcony as viewers pay him to abuse her. The Russian YouTuber was arrested following a sickening live broadcast in which his pregnant girlfriend died after he was paid to subject her to cruel abuse. Egged on by his online audience, Stas Riflay allegedly forced Valentina Grigorieva out on a balcony in sub-zero weather, wearing only her underwear. I just... Um... Torturing a woman on camera to make money. Not just any woman. The woman he was in a relationship with and who was pregnant with his child. Torturing her on camera for money and a whole bunch of followers paying him to torture her. Requesting it. Men are fucked. He continued live streaming as his girlfriend was dying from hypothermia. Reflay 30 was paid $1,000, euro. She died for 800 euro. He killed her for 800 euro. What the? Well, I hope life in jail was worth 800 fucking euro, you piece of shit. I hope you fucking get life. By a viewer to inflict the abuse on her during his live stream, according to a report by Baza Media. The viewer and this man should both be charged with her murder. And any viewer during that stream who donated to her abuse in any form should be charged for having contributed to his desensitization to her like survival. Valentina, 28, 
who was in the early stages of pregnancy, died of hypothermia at his rented house in Ivanovka village near Moscow. Her shocking death has led to calls in Russia for an urgent ban on online reality violence, which appears unrestricted on YouTube and can be watched by children. Good job, YouTube. Good job, YouTube. Take all my feminist content down. Take it all down. Fucking strike me. Fucking gaslight me and tell me I'm fucking committing hate speech. Gaslight me and tell me I'm fucking harassing people. But... But let women get killed on YouTube. Good job. Who's the fucking head of YouTube? What's that dumb woman's name? You're a fucking idiot. In footage too disturbing to show, obviously I wouldn't show it anyways, he can be seen carrying her back inside and attempting to revive her. He's heard saying, Valya, are you alive? My bunny, what's up with you? Valya, Valya, damn, you are, you look like you are dead. Bunny, come on, tell me something. I'm worrying, damn, I'm not feeling her heartbeat. He then tells his viewers, guys, no pulse. She's pale, she's not breathing. Mother fucking piece of shit, idiot, fuckwad. When you, first of all, when you were torturing her and you saw that she was fucked from the get-go, why didn't you call the ambulance right away? What are you bothering trying to revive her for? What the fuck do you know? You know nothing. All you know is how to kill. You don't know how to fucking revive. You don't know how to take care and keep things alive and fucking love things. You monster. Look at this monster, you fucking monster. Look at this poor sweet angel girl. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. All you male abusers, look at her. She's dead because of men like you because you want to abuse women and you want to see women abused. She's gone. She's dead. Thank you very much. You did a great job, men. And I don't want to hear anybody say that I'm a man hater or not all men are murderers or not all men accept donations to abuse women or not all men abuse women. I don't care. If you're not actively stopping other men and actively engaging with society to prevent and discourage male violence and rape and domestic violence and physical abuse and narcissistic abuse unless you're actively doing that you're contributing to the problem okay silence is violence here's a picture of her newly pregnant belly <laughs> The horrific broadcast continued to his tens of thousands of followers even after he called an ambulance. He kept the stream going. He kept the stream going. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, he's heard saying, wake up, Valia. I love you. Wake up. You don't love her. You liar. You don't love her. You killed her. You don't love her. You never loved her because you were willing to risk killing her for money, for your fame, for your ego for your machismo for your nasty maleness you don't love her he didn't love her this is bullshit yeah I fucking man you never loved her you killed her and the camera was still live when paramedics arrived and pronounced her dead the broadcast continued for two hours after she died it, it is believed reflay makes money from online donations from his Russian and international audience. In a previous broadcast, he had showered Valentina with pepper spray. A friend of the dead woman said his live streaming had been full of cruelty towards her. <laughs> you can get help. Women's Aid has made this advice for victims and their families. Always keep your phone nearby. Get in touch with charities that can help. We'll call 999 or 911 if you're in danger. Familiarize with the silent solution, reporting abuse without speaking. Um, down the phone 
instead of dialing 55, five, I'm not sure what that means, but that must mean something to somebody somewhere. So I hope you're listening. Always keep some money on you, including change for a payphone or a bus fare. If you suspect your partner is about to attack you, try to take, try to go to a lower risk area of the house, for example, where there is way out and access to a telephone. <laughs> Avoid the kitchen and garage where there are likely to be knives or other weapons. Avoid rooms where you might become trapped, such as a bathroom, or where you might be shut into a cupboard or other small space. <laughs> if you are a victim of domestic violence abuse, uh, if you are a victim of domestic abuse, support line is open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, at that number, I this is in the UK, all this information. Okay, so this is for women in the UK. Um, we'll get the information for Canada in a second. Here's a site for women in Canada called the Ending Violence Association of Canada. It can help you find help across the country. Here's all the links for each province. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. <laughs> this is a website called Strong Hearts. It's a native helpline for native women who are escaping domestic violence and sexual violence. Um, in America, in the U.S. I'll put the link in the description as well. This is what a safety plan looks like when you create one for yourself, an escape plan. This is available at the, um, you can find this on the National Center for Domestic and Sexual Violence. And you just go through, you answer all these questions for yourself so that when the, some shit is going down, you can go back to this for yourself and follow your steps to safety. This is the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. You can find a lot of information here. Okay, so again, if you're in immediate danger, call 911. Um, for anonymous confidential help, you can call them at these numbers. Reshetnikov was held by police who attended the scene and was interrogated over the broadcast and his girlfriend's death. He faces up to two years in prison if forensic experts prove she died of hypothermia, says a report. Two years. <laughs> he, he killed her, he took her life, and she he might he might face up to two years if they can prove Information will also be checked out about possible unlawful actions against the deceased by the young man in whose house the body was found, said the Russian investigative committee. An urgent investigation is now underway with the checks on whether other laws were broken in the live broadcast. Feminist activist Liza Lazarson hit out at YouTube for banning bare breasts but showing scenes of violence and cruelty against women without problems. She said the woman dies on air and the audience sends donations for the killer. This must stop. Such videos are calmly broadcast to the world 
meaning something is broken, until this is fixed. Censorship is necessary. Why would you put a picture of the killer kissing her? That's so fucked up. Stop calling her his, him her boyfriend. He's her murderer. He did not love her. He's not her boyfriend. He killed her. I tried to find websites for um, women fleeing domestic violence in Poland and Russia and uh, I don't know if it's because I'm in Canada like that it's not populating or what but I couldn't find anything so whatever country you're in if you have the links if you have the phone numbers for women to access services when they've been afflicted by domestic violence, uh, please comment them in, uh, below. Thank you so much.